In this DIY tutorial, I'll show you how to make 5 beautiful bracelets out of bands. All these pretty designs can be made without a loom or a hook. A few weeks ago I posted my first episode of band bracelets and so many of you asked for more. So I decided to film another one and here I will show you these 5 beautiful and easy designs. The cool thing is that you won't need a loom or a hook to make them. You can use your fingers, fork or pencils like me. So if you're ready to rock these beautiful bracelets too, keep on watching because we're gonna get started. Let's start with this cool and classic fishtail bracelet for which you will need some bands and a C-clip. You can make the bracelet on your fingers or you can make a simple loom out of two pencils, an eraser and some tape. Place the pencils on the left and right side of the eraser and wrap some tape around to hold everything in place. On with the fishtail bracelet. Take your first band and put it on the pencils by twisting it so you get a figure 8 or an infinity sign. I started with violet bands so now I am adding a yellow one and then another violet on top. For the normal fishtail stitch simply pull the bottom band over the top ones and over the pencils on the right and left side like that. Add another yellow band on top and again pull the bottom band over the top ones. Go in with a new band and repeat the step. From time to time you need to push your bands down to make space for more bands. Simply continue adding bands and pulling the bottom one over the top ones, making sure that you add alternating colors each time. Yellow, purple, yellow, purple and so on in my case. When your bracelet is long enough to fit your wrist, add the last band and then pull both bottom bands over it. Now you're left with only one band on the pencils. Take a C-clip and slide it on the band loop on the right, take everything over to the left and attach it on that band loop too. Our bracelet is all done. This bracelet looks so beautiful with that sleek chevron pattern and what's best, it's made literally in 2 minutes. Next we're making this super pretty beaded band bracelet. You'll need a bunch of bands, some beads, a C-clip and a pencil loom or fingers. To save me some time, I like to prepare several beaded band pairs in advance by sticking a band through the bead. I'm combining pink bands with blue beads and purple bands with purple beads, but you can use any other color combination too. First we need to put an empty band on the pencils by making a twist like that. Now take a band with bead, place it on top and pull the bottom band over the top one, over the pencil and release. Do this on both sides. Since my previous band was pink, I'm now adding a purple one. So place your next beaded band on top and again pull the bottom band over the top one. On with my next pink beaded band. Pull the bottom band over the top one. As you continue you will notice a cool pattern where the bands kinda hug the beads all along the bracelet. My bracelet is almost done, here goes the final beaded band and again I need to pull the bottom band over the top one. Finish the bracelet with the last empty band. Pull the bottom band over the top one, take a C-clip and slide it on through both band loops like that. I love how beads add so much dimension and make the bracelet look so full and bold. You can be very creative with this one. Take all the beads in one color and all the bands in another or you can mix more colors like I did. Whatever you go for, I know your bracelet will look epic. Let's now make this gorgeous 3 colored bracelet. My favorite! You'll need 3 different colored bands, a C-clip, a pencil loom or just fingers. Put the pink band on the pencils by twisting it. Add a blue band and then a purple one on top. Pull the bottom band over the top ones and over the pencils. Place another pink band on the pencils. Now pull the middle purple band below the bottom blue one and pull that blue band over the top pink one, making an inverse fishtail stitch. Push the bands down to get space for more bands. Add a blue band and pull the middle pink band over the top one. Now add a purple band and pull the bottom purple band over both bands above. These are the steps that we need to keep repeating along the entire bracelet. So let's see them again. Add a pink band. 
Make an inverse fishtail stitch by pulling the middle purple band below the bottom blue one and taking that blue band over the top pink one. Go in with the blue band. Make a normal single chain stitch by pulling the middle pink band over the top blue one. Add a purple band and make a fishtail stitch by pulling the bottom purple band over the top ones. From time to time you'll have to arrange the bands with fingers a bit so that they fall in place correctly. As you proceed you'll be building this awesome bracelet with a cool pattern all along. I need to repeat the three steps for the last time. So on with the pink band and make an inverse fishtail stitch. Add the blue band and continue with the normal single stitch. Lastly go in with the purple band and make a fishtail stitch. To finish off pull the bottom blue band over the purple one. You guys know what's left to do. Slide on a C-clip on both sides, take the bracelet off the loom and look how beautiful it is! Simply amazing! To be honest it reminds me of Alien from the movie Predator. Does anyone else see him too in this bracelet? Or maybe it's just me. Anyway, love this bracelet very very much! Now we're making this awesome charmed band bracelet. We will need a bunch of bands, a C-clip and some flat washers. Start by sticking the band through the washer's opening. Then slide the band loop under the washer on the right and pull the band on the left to tighten. Next stick a new band through the washer and pull the band loop on the right up and through the band loop on the left like that. Pull the band to tighten. Time for a new flat washer. You can find these in your dad's garage or you can buy them and they are normally very cheap. Probably the cheapest connector charms out there. Continue alternating between bands and washers until the bracelet is long enough to fit your wrist. Here come the final washer and a band. You can also double the length and wrap it around two times. The only thing left to do now is to slide on a C-clip and voila, we are all done with this epic bracelet. You guys know how I love using stuff in a non-conventional way. I know these washers are very useful in construction, but let me just say, these look pretty awesome as a bracelet charms too. As the last bracelet today, we're making a fun and colorful double cross bracelet. You'll need a bunch of bands, I'm using 6 different colors and a C-clip. This bracelet requires a loom with 4 pens, so we gotta make one using 4 pencils, a squared bottle of nail polish and a tape. Place pencils around the polished bottle, one on each side and secure them in place with the tape. Just like that and we have a 4 pin loom. Take your first band and put it on the two opposite pencils. Make sure to make a twist so you get a number 8. Take another color and put it on the other two pencils by twisting it again. Add a new blue and an orange band. Note how I'm placing the blue bands on the same pencils and the orange ones on the other two pencils. Add another layer of bands. Blue on top of blue bands and orange on top of orange ones. Now you can finally pull the bottom two bands over the top ones and over the four pencils. Go in with a new pair of blue and orange bands and again pull the bottom bands over the top ones. Continue these simple steps all along the bracelet. I like to switch up the colors every 7 band layers for a really fun and interesting design. So after using 7 blue and 7 orange bands, I'll be using 7 purple and 7 green ones. Just put them on the pencils and pull the bottom bands over. As said, always make sure to place the same colors on the same two pencils if you want to achieve the same design as me. Very soon you'll notice an epic bracelet growing down the center of the loom. I need to add my last layer of pens and pull the bottom pens over the top ones. When your bracelet is long enough and you have two bands on each pencil, pull the bottom bands over the top ones again so you're left with only one band layer on the pencils. To secure the bracelet, stretch the band from one of the pencils to the opposite one and go below the band on that opposite pencil. Do the same with the other two opposite pencils. Slide the clip on the top band of one pencil and on the top band of the other pencil. 
We can take the bracelet off the loom and see how pretty it looks. I used six different colors for this one and I love how it turned out. It's like a carnival bracelet, bold, happy and bright. You can make a ton of beautiful bracelets even if you don't have a loom or a hook. All of these were so easy to make and look fantastic, don't they? And that's it for today. Tell me which one is your favorite and share your bracelets with me on my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Since this year is coming to the end, I want to wish you and your loved ones all the best in 2015. I also want to thank you so much for your love and support. You have no idea how much happiness you bring into my life. I'm sending you a bunch of kisses, take care and I will see you soon. Bye! Don't forget to check out my first episode of Band Bracelets if you haven't already!